you like this? Because you love me? It's our Meg Black on the Rat Gut Review. So, this is the Art Bank Black Committee for this. So, the Art Bank Committee was founded back in 2000, two years after the reopening in 98. Ooh, history nerd. Sorry. Um, but basically, it's their worldwide kind of occult thing where, you know, it's like 100,000 people and they send out, you know, they get consult consulted on new whiskeys and every year for Art Bank Day on May 30th, there's a super secret whiskey that comes out, and but there's a version of it that's the committee release. Ooh. And the committee release tends to be a few percentage points higher in ABV. So then they also release the regular old release uh, for the plebs. So this one, this one is the committee release of... The non-pleb version. The non-pleb version ah. of the black. You can't, you can't say Are black. You it's like a tribe called Quest. You gotta say the whole thing. Okay. Uh, Are you gonna say do that uh, bleep every time? Every time. Well, I'm this video is done. Nope. It's done. I'm gonna find a way to like just. Anytime you do it, I'm just gonna hum a famous song so you get like a copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is Ardbeg, the you know highly peated. Whiskey we all know and love, uh, like, like yeah. that has been finished in New Zealand Pinot Noir casks. Ooh. So let's get into it, hey? No. Well, I'm, I'm getting into it. I will watch you. It's smoky. Certainly smoky. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I did sell smoke when I walked into the room. Yeah. Yeah. It's very biscuity malty. Yeah. Like, there's still quite a bit of toffee but doesn't... biscuitiness. It doesn't taste like, or not even taste, because I haven't tasted it yet. It doesn't even smell like uh, cooked biscuits. It just smells like biscuit dough. Like biscuit dough? Yeah. 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 Uh, that biscuit dough hands man strikes again. Um, also, you do smell the grapiness. Mm. Like, it smells like a very sweet grape jam. Yeah. 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 Like, really dark purple grapiness. Mm. Yeah. But also a little tart. I don't even, it smells more like vineyardy. Mmm. Like it's kind of that natural grape smell rather than like. So kind of that outsidey, yeah. like it smells natural. Smells like outside. Yeah. yeah. Kind of maybe like hay, hay y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I also get like a this interesting. It smells kind of acidic, and this yeah. was something I was telling you when we we took the neck pour off of this. It reminded me of a really sweet tomato paste because it's kind of like acidic, like yeah, but not citrusy, like just just pure acid, just pure acid. Yeah. Um, and we were thinking more, but more like bruschetta. Bruschetta. Yeah, it's like the tomato and like balsamic vinegar rather than yeah, yeah pure tomato paste. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's interesting. Yeah. It's a very interesting house. That's a good taste. I've been sipping on it for a while. Mm-hmm. And I do get that acidity a lot more in the palate than I do on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. It does come off. It's fruity? A little bit. I don't know if it's as fruity as on the nose, though. The nose is definitely fruity. Yeah. Right? Or if it... Huh? I would say, like, the palate has a different... I don't know. What's a very acidic fruit? Yeah, well, like pineapple, but, but it doesn't. It's not that. But it's not pineapple. Yeah. And it's. That's it's why like I was, this tartness of a cherry. Yeah. The acid uh, yeah. Of a pineapple. Yeah. So that's it's why like it confuses some, me. It's like some sort of weird hybrid fruit. Yeah. Because you're right. Like yeah, a tart cherry, a tart cherry kind of thing, but mm -hmm. but cut with something more acidic, which is why I said tomato, right? Yeah. Like to, but it's not exactly tomato either. It's not like ketchup. Gross. That's what I'm saying. It's not. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's a, this is a this is an odd one. It does linger with you for a while yeah. too. And maybe that dark fruit acid influence is like that Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. like a very acidic, acidic red wine, but mm -hmm. dark fruit. Mm -hmm. It is. That finishes all that dark fruit. Yeah. Really, really. I wouldn't even say plum. Like it's somehow plumier. More than, intense than plum. Yeah, it's more plum than plums are. 
So maybe like an artificial plum? Yeah. Okay. But like, yeah, like a really concentrated syrupy plum. Just throwing plums at your face. Yeah. I'll throw my plums at your face. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is that your butt? I don't know. It's whatever, whatever you want it to be. Um, I also do like that they got a sheepy on there. He looks very angry. Yeah, uh, he got a big, he got big can, old mean horns. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you'll cut with like a better picture of I it. I will. Okay. I, I can do that. There's also a dog on the back. Yeah, it's a dog sheep. Because their dog was like their mascot. I don't remember his name, but... Dog sheep? He's got a dog head and a sheep body. Look at him. Oh, I don't care for that. Look at him, he got hooves. I don't, I don't much care for Look that. Look at the dog sheep. I don't like that. You pick one. <laughs> you don't get both. You can't be a dog. Get it together, sheep. Ardbeg. Yeah. Um, Is that what Ardbeg means? Ch dog sheep? <laughs> dog sheep. I know that's not what it means. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually know is. what it means off the top of my head. Don't um, even look it up. It means dog it sheep. It means dog sheep. That is that is not what Ardbeg means. It does, 100%. Who dog, are you going to trust? Dog sheep. You going to trust this guy who drinks bad whiskey every so often? Or me? Who doesn't trust this guy? <laughs> Um, although, okay, compared to other art bags, okay. how does this one stack up? Eh. Yeah? Kind of just eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's, well, I don't think it's bad. No. I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's the most amazing one I've had. That said, the price here in Wisconsin is $160. I would not pay $160 for this. Yeah, this is, that's a little heavy. Yeah. Well, part of that is tariff. At my store, I think, yeah, the, we had like a $30 jump mm. from last year's committee release. And, yeah, that's probably just the distributor passing along the tariff. Yeah. Well, what was last year's committee release? Drum. I liked drum more than this. I did I did like drum. The first, the then again, the first pour of drum was not great. True. And then it got better. Yes. So we may have to come back to this one on the live stream and see if this gets better with a little bit more time. That's fair. I think I think we can promise to do that. Okay. So, but yeah. And we'll investigate more about the dog sheep. Dog sheep. Um, but yeah. So that has been the rocket review. Our review of Ardbeg Black. Until next time. You got you got too fast. I'm gonna sing something. The problem is I can't think of a single copyrighted song. Yeah. I don't know. Black and black. something upwards. Um, Get loose! Where are you? Bad, 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 bad. That's gonna be hanging about. Anyway, this has been the Rock Cut Review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, Can we try that again? No. Uh, Please like, comment, and subscribe. She said, like a dignified being. Whoever said I had dignity. Uh, and find us on Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Give us your money, please. Money, please. Money, please. Money, please. Stay rotten. You do. Oh, I'm sorry. Clink. Clank. Clank.